Every after five years, six East African countries have to elect nine members of parliament to represent them at the Greater East African Legislative Assembly. The six countries that form the East African community, such as Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, and South Sudan, send a total of 62 members. 56 of them are directly elected members, while eight are ex officios. Ahead of the elections, scheduled to take place soon, preparations are in high gear for the people who have expressed interest in the ELA seats for 2022-2027 term. Harold Kaija of FDC, Ronald Mivule of NRM Ticket, Moses Atekek and Julius Buchana Kato. Independent candidates are some of the people who have expressed interest or eyeing the limited seats. We had the East African Railway, we had the East African Common Currency. I also want to put up policies that, are, that, that help to create a situation whereby there is free movement of factors of production, especially labor and capital. We had the East African Railways, we had the East African Airline, we had so many common things. We had the same education system, we had a common market. But that community failed majorly because of, okay, there were a number of reasons, but majorly because of people participation. However, some of the aspirants say that many Ugandans have not been sensitized about the existence of the parliament. Of making sure that our people, Ugandans, and everybody who is involved can appreciate what they call the East African community. We had left behind the people. And the moment it's full had the thinking that you're going to have an East African, a successful East African community without the involvement of the people. It's, 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 it, it can't happen. According to the aspirants, the Legislative Assembly can be used to mend broken relationships and misunderstandings among member countries. To speak to, to, to bring up policies that addresses conflicts between member states, political conflicts. Like you see, in, when Uganda was having issues with Rwanda, we spent three years, people lost in trade. We look at merging, removing boundaries, border posts that would be demarcating Uganda here, Kenya here, Tanzania here, Rwanda here, Burundi here. This time around, we are talking of no border zone. That strong sense of nationalism, you know, looking at ourselves and we say this is Uganda and I'm Ugandan, this is Kenya and I'm Kenyan, that strong sense of nationalism, if we can deal with it and we start looking at ourselves as one, as East Africans, then we shall be good to go. The traders have lost huge sums of money when the border was closed. And somebody would say this was a personal ego of the two heads of states. But I would say the East African community has not had a stride to make on the, make, making sure that the border was open. It took the first son, if I would say, the commander and forces, to, to, to take a step. The conflict will not end unless we put up a tribunal that works on these conflicts. And don't forget that the East African Court of Justice, much as it is there to help conflict resolution, to manage cases, to manage, it's not easy. Local people, our people, don't look at courts, even in on Uganda, our local courts. They fear. The East African Legislative Assembly was established in 2000 with the intention to promoting peace, unity, security and economic development of countries under the East African community. Story by Chris Semalimu Semakula for ZTV, PM Edition.